I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Sapoki. Let's go on a little journey. Okay, some of you remember when I carried cassava on my head here. Now, if you look down and you look this way, then you turn this way. And then this way, we have we have 40 something acres here. If I bring you here, the natural tendency in your mind is to think that I bought all once. No. I found that from the questions people are asking me on social media, that we need to break down success or achievement to its molecular level so that people can digest and assimilate the principles and then apply them. If not, we'll just create desperation in the minds of people. How did we manage to buy all this? I'm not a politician. I don't run a church. I don't do contracts. I don't really travel overseas to go and make money from preaching. Number one, real estate. I bought, I bought a piece of property for 700,000 some years back. And then after some years, I sold it for 2.1 million. So it was that money, remember linear expansivity of money. It was that money that I used to buy the first 13 acres here. And then I started applying the principle of gradualism. When I come and I price the property, they will tell me a price. When I go to preach and I write books, I get honorarium, I sell CDs, I will come pay part, give the person some dates, subsequently come back and pay. Then I use some spiritual and biblical principles. Wherever your feet shall step upon shall be yours. So I walk through this land. I walk through this land with uh, Solomon of Vigwe, Ugbarugba, with Marcus Ekure, with uh, Charles Adogo, with um, one other pastor, I can't remember his name vividly now. So we will go around. I will be possessing the land, possessing the land. That is how piecemeal, principle of gradualism, reinvesting money on a consistent basis. That's how we're able to buy this large expanse. It wasn't like this in the beginning. America wasn't the, isn't, wasn't the way it is now. In the beginning, we had to gradually cut the trees. It was like that, that forest you are seeing. We had to gradually cut the trees. When I cut the trees down, I will sell the firewood. I will use the cost, the money from the firewood to pay the motor saw man that was felling the woods. And so that's how piecemeal by piecemeal, we're able to clear this place, have it as an expanse, survey it. Now, if you turn around, we are gradually building this block building this block. It has been for three years. I don't want to stress myself. But this year, by the grace of God, we will roof it. And then we will start making it functional. So it's a gradual process. Peaceful. This generation of young people, you are too desperate. You see Dangote, you want to be like Dangote. You see Davido, you want to be like Davido. You see Obi Kubana, you want to be like Obi Kubana. You see one or Elumelu, you want to be like Elumelu. No, these people have taken time. They grew gradually. Please, if you don't grow gradually, you will crash suddenly. I remain the area grandfather. I am doing a seminar on the second and on the third of August, our monthly mentorship program. It is attaining global impact, purposeful living, and financial independence. I will share some deep secrets of how to attain global impact and how to live purposefully and how to be financially independent. Send a message to plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three and I will send you the flyer of how to register for the program. I have lands, properties for sale, and I have lots of books for sale. God bless you.